On October 16, 1502, during his final voyage, Christopher Columbus gained his first impressions of Panama when he arrived in Amarante Bay. Its development in 1826 was fueled by the riches of Scottish and English immigrants who arrived from other Caribbean islands to escape British taxes, and along with them, they brought thousands of slaves. The beginning of the municipal development in Bocas Town stems from the abundant source of bananas found in the Bocas del Toro region. The traditional architecture of Bocas was built using natural products from the surrounding environment. The houses were made of wood and roofs were covered with palm leaves. But as foreigners arrived and tourism developed, tradition was displaced by municipal characteristics. The appetite of these islanders was traditionally the catch of the day. Seafood served with coconut rice, beans, or lentils. Even turtle meat was a part of their daily alimentation. But the growth of population and overfishing changed the course of these menus. Fishermen were unable to catch reasonably sized fish or lobster, and sea turtles were about to become extinct. Those who visit Bocas are often surprised to find that a number of locals not only speak Spanish, but also English. Spanish is the official language taught in school, 